Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Shadow Man the Second Coming, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Or I guess it's just Second Coming, but you know. Also, I didn't want to have the foe equipped. Oh right, I was pressing the wrong button. That's what led to it being switched. Okay, I just picked up some other bullets. They don't look the kind of bullets I would use. Those are the kind of bullets I use. Something over there. It's glowing. Got it. Pocket watch! Well, it allows me to tell time. The pocket watch can be used to influence the passage of time. So in other words, I could use this item. To switch to Shadow Man. And I can use it again to switch to Mike. That's actually really good. That such an option exists. Maybe there are certain parts of this sepulcher that um, only open during the nighttime or during the day? Oh, what the hell are you? I would appreciate that you don't shoot me, thank you. But it's okay for me to shoot you, okay? Dead? Yeah. Huh. He answered that question for me. Great. He's like, are you dead? Yeah. Hmm. What is this? Got it. Oh, that's a sigil. Deacon was looking for that. Better give this back to Deacon. I mean, I could. But I can also see what's in the other room. He thinks I should do that. Just grab all this stuff. Oh, there was a Kado there too. Fantastic. Good thing I have like a notepad document open just to like uh, keep track of the Kado that are there that way I don't like lose track of what I'm looking for because I would like to get them all I would imagine there'd be something really good for it if I do all right do I have to constantly manually switch back to Shadow Man if the time just goes to day why can't I set it up so that time freezes So there's three sigils in total in Louisiana. I'll use this time to go see uh, Deacon right now. All right, it's a good thing the game did not freeze, because there's one thing that I haven't done since, like, before the previous episode. And that saved my game. I really am glad that it did not crash on me at that very time. Whoa, what happened to you? Did you do all this? Look at you being a braggart. Jesus, what the hell's happened here? Morte, huh? Tried to take me down. Okay, Thomas Deacon, I got your sigil. The monster you encountered was an abomination. 
one of many nightmare creatures that the Grigori brought with them when they fled from Gehenna many thousands of years ago during what is known as the Exodus. The area beneath Morteth's plantation is but one dark sepulcher. What I need you to do, Mike, is to return to the plantation and find the recreant vault at the heart of Morteth's dark sepulcher, the place where it is said the doorway to Gehenna lies. The Nephilim shard, kind of like silver bullets for Grigori. It's the only way to kill him. Careful with that. You could have someone's eye out. The Grigori is the reason I'm in this wheelchair. It killed my partner. Gabe threw me against the wall, broke both my legs in so many places they had to amputate. I managed to escape with the item me and Gabe had been looking for. The Codex. A book? You lost your legs for a book? Not just any book. The Codex is an essential part of the Grigori plan to release Asmodeus from the pit when the time is at hand. The Grigori want the Codex back, hence the visit by Morteth's thugs. In order to open the way to Gehenna, the place beyond worlds, wherein lies the entrance to the pit, you must stand before the Gregoria statue in the Recreant Vault and read aloud this page of ancient text known as the Litany. The Gregori plan to use the Codex to release Asmodeus from the pit, and then they'll all once again be united with their demon lord and will bring about Armageddon, as prophesied in the Book of Revelation. To release Asmodeus, all seals on the Codex must be opened. However, since we have the Codex in our possession, we can use it to open the pit ourselves and destroy Asmodeus forever. But if the Gregori know you're here, they're gonna come after you again. And if they do, they may have more success and take back the Codex. Correct. Which is why, Shadow Man, I entrust the Codex to you. There are many places where I can hide out. I'll be in touch when I know it's safe to do so. In the meantime, we need to help your friend. You mean Johnny? I do. There's a fabulous object, a chalice, also called the Healing Cup, which can cure the Grigori curse. As to where the chalice is, I don't know. Maybe beyond Gehenna itself or in the hands of the Grigori. But if you want to help your friend, the Healing Cup will do the trick. I'll consider it. You do that. I've got to go. As I said, I'll be in touch. All right, so now that we got the codex, oh, I can open it. Okay, well, it looks like there are three sigils tied to that symbol. And three sigils tied to another symbol. And it looks like there are six sigils tied to the third symbol. And the rest of them have more. So it seems like there's a limited amount of sigils. Which is good that it's not going to be completely crazy. Okay. Well, I got this uh, Nephilim shard too. So, it's a swift hand-to-hand -hand Nephilim weapon. It is essential for destroying Nephilim barriers. So, with that, maybe I should switch the pickaxe. Can I use the shard to destroy boxes? Actually, you know what? Let's uh, switch the foe with that. Well, at least Deacon set up some wheelchair ramps for himself. Now, where did I see such a barrier? You know, I did see what looks like a barrier. Okay, Nephilim has its own uh, inventory area. That's actually pretty good. We got two sigils. At least Deacon was kind enough to give me his. I did see one on the other side of the maple tree. Hopefully the shard is a good weapon. It doesn't seem like it uses voodoo energy, because it's not a voodoo weapon. Alright, moment of truth. Does it work on crates? Oh, it works way better than the pickaxe.
now, yeah, we can actually make more progress now. Okay, let's just go in the water. Who designs a tunnel like this? Huh, look at my feet! Okay, apparently just touching the front of the blades and not the blades themselves will hurt you. That's weird logic. What is that, a cadeau? Alright, that's 15! Not bad at all. Ow! Well, that's one way to lose my legs. Sorry, Deke. Can't really keep my promise there. Okay, I gotta get to land somehow. above me. He doesn't hear. He's dumb. Can I sidle across like this? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I guess that's how I get up there. Through this. God, thank God I'm getting health. Not like in the fact that they keep shooting me. Hopefully that's all of them. This must be the plantation, is it? Okay, looks like I'm really close to it. Just like... Looks like there's a little path I gotta take to get in the plantation itself. Maybe if I get through all these mooks, I'll be able to find the way. Okay. Oh, wow! They just... Start catching on fire as soon as I hit them with the shard. This is a really good melee weapon. Hmm. Um. I don't know if I'm pushing crates. There's hardly advantage to being Mike at all. that by jumping? No, I didn't think so. I know I opened something. But what? And where? I can still use the shard in the daytime at the very least. away completely because I know what happened the last couple times okay that's just more barrels uh. 
Hello. Oh, they're coming from the other side. Were you using your ally as cover? I mean, that's a pretty good meat shield. He's got lots of flubber. And I'm allowed to fat shame because they were going to kill me. That's usually a sensible excuse in my world. That's convenient. Seems safe enough. Right. Okay. Well, oh, oh. Uh, better get those before Crash Bandicoot shows up. I'm guessing it's down here. What else is there in this area? There's a ladder. I should climb it. Wait a minute. Have I been here before? And I just somehow made it to another part of it? Back here again, it looks like. Oh, that's right. I can't use these because I'm not Shadow Man. These gargoyles are super weak against the shard. Man, the Nephilim shard is basically my keep away stick. Which I need because, damn, there's a lot of them. Looks like I'm going back in here again? I guess. Is this the way I'm going to get to the plantation? Let's find out. Okay, I guess there's no reason to go back to the Dark Sepulchre. Which apparently that's how it's pronounced. Hmm, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. Did I see something else while I was here? Like, literally another chamber? Because I know I was just swimming with gargoyles. But maybe I needed the shard to find another way in? I guess I'll just have to look through the cave. Granted, all the gargoyles are killed, and they probably are. Unless they respawn because I entered the sepulchre. Hmm, let's find out. Man, it seems like there's a chamber over here now. I think I need that health for any reason, but okay. Yeah, it looks like there is a ledge, like right next to the gate. 
if I can find a way to open it. Or, like, get across it. Maybe that's not somewhere I can actually enter. Maybe I should just make it nightfall now. Again, it allows me to see. <laughs> Alright. Didn't need that much time to elapse. Let us see. Let us see indeed. Like, you think there'd be something around here? It looks like a face. But I can't reach that. I'm not the Mario. Finding a hell of a lot of bullets. Not that I need that much, but I'll take them. Because I can't just put them back. Where is the place to go? I literally have no idea. Think about this. Am I in the right place? Or was I supposed to actually leave? Maybe I should go back outside. What if I miss something and I could only reach it from where I was? Hopefully all those jabronis didn't come back. I'm okay with the boxes coming back, but not the things I don't like. Hmm. Probably just going around in circles, but at least I'll get through that easily. Where was the little tower structure, or well, I guess rather big tower structure, that I entered before? That took me over here? No, not this way. I think it was around to the right. Where did I miss something? I don't think this was it, obviously. I'm already full on voodoo magic. Wasn't here. Why is it so hard to see where I came from? It shouldn't be that hard. It's not like it was a drop or anything. Uh, I'm 
so confuzzled. Nope, I just went through there. It's on the other side of the shed. Nothing! Now I'm even more confuzzled! Did I go in here? Oh, I see water. Alright, let's just go in. Because I don't remember seeing water like this. Did I? Oh, wait a minute. That's where I first enter this place. Damn, so I was here. <laughs> well, the audio just stuttered for his uh, voice. That's hilarious. Alright, let's try this again, and hopefully find where I need to go. Finding every place I was, conveniently enough. Or rather, inconveniently enough. Where was the structure that I exited to get here in the first place? Oh, it was here, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, now I'm back through here again. Which is kind of where I want to be. Oh, I was wondering why that didn't work originally. Did I miss that? Apparently I did. Okay, now where did I unlock the shed to? Okay, that wasn't a text message, so I'm ignoring that. Um, okay, I'll just keep going around until I find a building. It wasn't this building. Oh, I took damage? I didn't notice that until now. Good thing I picked that up. Yeah, shit must be around here. Lever. Danger. Ooh, I better listen to what it says. I don't know if I should go there. It seems dangerous. I am... Whoa! That was a bit of a jump scare. That's it. Run for the end of your life. <laughs> oh god. There's two sides. Let me take the lower one. Oh, okay, it's a dead end, so I'm not worried. Man, phone is picking up. Is this for an elevator? It is. 
Alrighty then. Hmm. This must be the plantation. Oh, come on, you again? How many bullets can you handle? Eighty-three! Estimating. Well, at least I found the place. Got it. Okay, looks like we are good to go, are we? Maybe after I destroy these? This must be the way in. What else is around here? I want to make sure I explore all my avenues. Oh, thank you! You open the door with your eyes! And close it with the same thing. Okay. Well, looks like I'm in. Oh god, this music is awful. <laughs> Anybody home? Yoo-hoo. Okay, that's a dead end. For now. There might be a mechanism that opens that, though. I don't know why I seem so relaxed. I mean, I have a lot of bullets already. Ah, oh, damn it. This is a safety hazard. Like, around here, I can easily fall. Got it. Okay. Ooh, it opened a bunch of doors. Uh, uh, some of these enemies are actually, oh, there's a gargoyles. Okay. I, th I thought there was just actual guys walking upside down and I was getting freaked out. Then the abomination I was not looking forward to fighting either. Hi. You want some of this? Well, at least the shard works on them, too. 420, blaze it. <laughs> Alright, now we're in business. Nice fireplace, though. Be comfy. When I find the next teddy bear point, that's when I'll uh, end the episode. Oh, I see what I gotta do. It turns out that those smaller door sized gates are needed for me to clear to find the levers that opens the way to those big gates. Because that's where the levers are, it seems. Not getting attacked? Really? I was surprised. Okay, one more lever. Okay. I have expected a surprise attack there. Honestly, I'm glad it's nighttime. Whoa! Hi. Another one. Look at him twitch. Get out of here. Yeah, I think the voodoo weapons are just better to use than the guns. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 
Okay, fine. Good. Glad to get away from those. Because they were getting a bit plentiful. Oh, for God's sake. You done? Let me get my bullets ready. Cause I am low on voodoo ammo. Great. Okay, there's that sign again. What happens if I pull this lever? Ah, oh, okay. Well, at least the two of them are really close. And no surprise attacks the rest of the way. That's a solid. If I can just hit jars, that'd be great. Yeah. Get myself locked and loaded. And thank you. How kind of you to open the door. See, chivalry is not completely dead, even though Shadow Man technically is. <laughs> Alright, let's get in. Eventually. I hope I didn't take damage for that. Good. Ooh. Diagenium. So I can get one for the sepulchre itself. Okay, looks like the first one I was already in. Sepulchre 2 looks a bit bigger. Uh, Recreant Vault is over there. Are they saying there's only, there's deck dark sepulchers in multiple places of the world other than just Louisiana? That could be possible. Okay, as long as I don't just get randomly attacked, that's great. Because I plan to uh, end the episode right here. We definitely be making a lot of progress compared to like the last couple episodes that have been absolute horse honky. But with that, stay tuned for the next part when I go through Dark Sepulchre 2. See everyone, thanks for watching.